Hello, in this video today I would like to talk about two different tools but that can be used in similar situations. One is the sweep one and the other one is the new tool that we added in the last version of Matrix Gold that it's a love. So I will start tracing a curve. I will start this curve from both sides with a grid snap. And now on this curve I will add the profile. I can use the auto and just turn it around. I have a profile that is a polygon. I just imported it into my library. So is this one select? I will add another one just here and another one in the middle. This one I will make it bigger. So you can see the difference. Now the next step would be to use the sweep one. And this is what we will get. That actually is pretty nice, it's a nice flow. But what if we want this stride from this profile to this one? Or we want a different shape, we want it more like this. What we can do is use the dynamic loft. So let me just select these three profiles. With the Alt key, I will just duplicate it, keep pressing the Alt key. And now I will use the loft. So select curves and points to loft. I want this curve, this curve, and this curve. And we get this loft. Now, if we want to cap it, we can use the new tool cap that it's capping any surface that has planar openings. And now from the loft, I have different options. So I can go for the loft loose. I can go for the loft tight. I can go for the loft stride. And I can also go for the loft uniform. So it's giving you a lot of different options. The loft stride, it's something cool to get that you can get with the sweep. Once you are like this, you still have many options on both commands to make modifications. If I want to make a modification on the sweep one, I can go to the profile placer and select the profile where I want to make the modifications and make the modifications that I want. If I want to do it now because it's just following because I made the, the copy, but now if I do with this one, I can make any modification that I want just using the gamble from Matrix Hall. Now, if I want to make some modifications, I still can go to the loft, edit, and loft normal. So now I have a different loft. Of course, that anything that I attach on this loft will follow. So now just say that I get this curve and I click on F10 and I just drop this. So now we have a different design. So I kept playing with the curve and I made a totally different design. Now in this area I can go and extract an ISO core and I can place gems on this one. So I go to gems, gems on curve. Of course that I need to use the target so the gems are get, getting in the right spot. get this perspective to just be sure that the gems are just in the middle and I can add from placer and now even if I get this profile and this profile and I bring them closer everything will adapt to the new situation so this is something that uh, it's cool when you are doing these kind of designs to do modifications in real time without having to undo and go back, I think that is a tool that can be quite useful for any designer. I hope you like it. Thank you.